Kate Middleton might take advantage of Meghan and Harry split to make major royal move. The holidays are time to come together with family, but when it comes to the royal family, that may not be possible. Brothers Prince Harry and Price William have been feuding for quite some time, with King Charles involved as well. After Kate Middleton announced that she is finished with chemotherapy for her cancer treatment, we have seen the princess get back into the royal life. According to a source close to the Princess of Wales, those royal duties have included nudging Prince William to make amends with his brother. Now it seems Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are parting ways professionally, a source says that Middleton could use this as an opportunity to encourage her husband to brokerage peace between him and his younger brother. Hello viewers, please remember to subscribe and click on the notifications bell icon so you will be notified whenever we upload new cookies about the British royal family. The insider told Heat World that although that could be possible, Meghan would have to be involved in the equation as well. Meghan is all for Harry making peace with his family, but she's not going to let them sideline her in the process. She's been very clear that she's not about to let William, or anyone else, drive a wedge between her and Harry, an insider told Heat World. Any attempt to handle things with just Harry is a no-go. She feels strongly that she and Harry are team, and if his family wants to welcome him back but not her, that will be a deal-breaker, the insider added. Both the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been open about their struggles with the royal family, and have even spoken out to the media about their experiences. There were conversations, about no security, no title. And how dark his skin might be when he's born, Meghan told Oprah Winfrey in 2021. That was relayed to me from Harry. Those were conversations that family had with him, she added. Earlier this year, Prince Harry made it clear that Meghan wouldn't come to the UK until security from the Home Office was provided for him and his immediate family. All it takes is one lone actor, one person. And whether it's a knife or acid. These are things that are of genuine concern for me. It's one of the reasons why I won't bring my wife back to this country, Prince Harry said in an ITV interview in July. The source said to Heat World that Harry is ready to make amends while Meghan is not. As vocal as Harry's been about wanting to reconcile, a lot of people do feel he's still under Meghan's influence and the worry is her stance could make it difficult for him to truly reach out, the source said. At the end of the day, Meghan and Kate both have very different ideas on what it will take for them to reconcile, the source added. The source said that Middleton is desperate for the brothers' reconciliation, but Prince William needs to see proof that Prince Harry has really changed before considering making amends. Princess Kate to be supported by royals at key event as she reflects on brutal year. Exclusive, the Princess of Wales, 42 will be supported by the royal family, as she is set to host a big event next month. Princess Kate will be thoroughly supported by the royal family as she prepares to reflect on the hardest year, a royal expert has said. Despite having to step back from the majority of her royal duties this year after her cancer diagnosis, the Princess of Wales will be hosting her annual Together at Christmas concert next month. Kensington Palace confirmed this news last week and said this year's event will focus on how much we need each other during difficult times. The princess has been hosting the event annually since 2021 and attended last year with her husband Prince William and their three children Prince George, 11, Princess Charlotte, 9, and Prince Louis, 6, along with other members of the royal family. According to royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams, the princess will receive the same amount of support this year as she steps back into royal life for the big event. Mr Fitzwilliams exclusively told Express.co.uk, when she attended a meeting to help plan her together at Christmas concert, we knew Catherine's attendance at this event was all but certain. At that time time she had only attended Trooping the Colour and the Wimbledon men's finals whilst receiving preventative chemotherapy for cancer. This is an extremely high-profile event which she now organises annually. It makes it especially festive that it will be broadcast on Christmas Eve on ITV, and it is likely to get huge viewing figures. 
It will be her fourth and few will forget her skills on the piano with singer and songwriter Tom Walker three years ago, which was a delightful surprise. The expert also added that the theme of the event will be something the princess, 42, has experienced personally this year as a result of her cancer diagnosis and chemotherapy journey. He added, this year she has chosen the importance of love and empathy, and how much we need each other, even in the most difficult times of our lives as the theme. She speaks from experience about a year William, has described as brutal and the hardest of my life with both Catherine, and the king battling cancer. She will receive support from the royal family, several of whom will undoubtedly attend. Last year all her children attended for the first time. This concert will also bring special joy to the 1,600 people, chosen for their work in supporting those in need, who will be attending in Westminster Abbey. Kate jumped at chance to have Tower of Strength as royal mentor despite Meghan Markle's snub. Princess Kate jumped at the chance to have a Tower of Strength as a mentor despite Meghan Markle's snub, according to a royal commentator. A royal biographer claimed that when Kate, 42, joined the royal family in 2011 after she married Prince William, the Duchess of Edinburgh, 59, became somewhat of a mentor to her. Claudia Joseph said regarding Sophie, she is 17 years older than Kate and has seen and done it all before. Interestingly, while Meghan rebuffed Sophie's offer to mentor her on life as a royal, Kate gracefully jumped at the Queen's suggestion. Joseph added, she saw her as a solid and trustworthy member of the firm. The women have become close as Kate adapts to her new role as Princess of Wales. She has found that Sophie is a true confidant and sounding board and they have developed a mutual respect and an unbreakable bond. The Duchess of Edinburgh accompanied the Princess of Wales on the Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Office balcony during the Remembrance Sunday service at the Cenotaph. While King Charles and Prince William lay their wreaths, Sophie was seen comforting Princess Kate, who undertook royal duties for the second consecutive day. Joseph explained that Sophie has been helping the Princess of Wales through what William described as the hardest year of my life. She told Fabulous, I'm sure that Sophie has been a tower of strength through Kate's cancer diagnosis, and will be there for her at the end of the phone whenever she wants a chat. They are incredibly close and live only 11 miles from each other Kate in Adelaide Cottage in Windsor Home Park and Sophie at Backshot Park. Princess Kate and Prince William left Kensington Palace in 2022. Thanks for watching, please don't forget to like this video and drop comments. And most importantly don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything.